Hello, and thank you for joining me for this Leganto demo today. Leganto is a solution that serves the entire institution, and I'll be showing you this from the perspective of a student, an instructor, and the library. I'm going to start with the student perspective so you can see what a Leganto course resource list looks like and how students can find and access all of their course materials. I'm using Canvas today, but Leganto works with all of the different learning management systems. Students don't need to know about another place to go to look for information about their courses. It's right inside of the learning management system, which they're used to using every day. Inside my course, I have a link to the resource list, which will open up the Leganto list inside the learning management system. Now we can see all of the resources that I as a student need to read, watch, listen to, or somehow engage with as part of this course. Lists in Leganto are broken down into sections, and for this course we have the topics and then the weeks associated with that topic, but this could be structured in whatever way makes sense for the course. Within each of these sections, you can see all of the different resources. The first one is a book that's available physically from the library, and here we can see exactly where this item is and that it's available right now. We're pulling in real-time availability directly from Alma, so this information is always kept up to date. In this case, we also have a note to read Chapter 6, and you can see that there is a file that's been uploaded to this citation, which I can access from here. With Leganto, you can make sure that the resources are only available to the students enrolled in the course, so from a copyright perspective, you can provide scans like this and also ensure that they will only be accessible to the students who should be able to access them. Scrolling down, you can see some additional resources. The next one here is a book chapter that's available electronically through the library subscriptions, and I have a link to access this right from here. You can also see some things that are not coming from the library collections, including this video from TED Talk and this website here. And for both of these resources, I also have a direct link. The last one in this section is a book chapter coming from Open Textbook Library. And in this case, I have the option to either download the file or access it online. Resources from all sources are presented as part of a uniform list in a way that is clear and consistent, so it's very easy for students to find all of the resources they need for their course and also access them. On this list, we also have some additional contextual information to help me understand my instructor's expectations. A couple of these citations have due dates associated with them, and we can also see tags letting me know which resources are required and which ones are optional. And I can also see additional notes from my instructor. Notes are a great way for instructors to let students know why they're doing a particular reading, if there's something that they should pay attention to, or if there's something that they should get out of it. Going into one of these citations, we can see some additional options. I can mark that I have finished something. I can mark that I like something. I can add my own tags to these resources or my own private notes, and I can also mark links as broken. Linking information is coming directly from the library's link resolver, so this information will be kept up to date as links change. But if I do have any trouble accessing this item, I can let the library know through this option here. In summary, from the student perspective, Leganto makes it very easy to find and access my course materials. I can prioritize my assigned resources, track my progress along the way, and provide feedback on these resources. And I can do all of this from within my course in the LMS. Now let's take a look at this from the instructor perspective. Instructors will also access Leganto through the learning management system. I'm going to log into the same course that we were just looking at, and you'll see that it looks very similar to the experience we just had as a student. Again, I'll click on the resource list link and now we'll see the exact same list. As an instructor, I have some additional options for working with this list. For example, I can edit items or delete items from here, and I can also move these resources around in my list. We can also see here the list of collaborators. In this case, there's a few different people who are working on this list with me. This could be another instructor or an instructional designer, or it could be my TA, or it could be the library. Several different people can work on a list together to make sure that we have the best resources available for our students. I can also see the library discussion. 
This is a way for instructors to add comments or messages for the library if they have any questions about any of the resources on the list or the list as a whole. Instructors can also see information about how students are using the resources on the list. Here we can see the number of students who engaged with each of these citations. This also shows the percentage of the students in the course who are working with any of these citations and the total number of students who viewed the full text, downloaded a file, commented on a citation, or marked that they liked something or marked that they finished something. Instructors can see this information as the course is going on, so I can see how many students have accessed each of the items on my list and use this to ensure that the students are learning the appropriate content. Instructors can also see this information after the course is complete. We have a course rollover process with Leganto so that once a reading list exists, there's no reason for an instructor to ever have to create it again. I can always roll over a previous list, take a look at the usage information, and use that information to remove citations, move them around in the list, or add new items in preparation for the upcoming term. There are a number of options for adding resources to a list, and I'll show you several of them. First, I can click on this plus sign to add items from the library collection. This includes the physical and electronic resources, articles, book chapters, streaming media, and more. There are a couple of different filtering options available. So if I know that I'm looking for articles, for example, I can narrow this list down to show me only the resources that I'm looking for. We also have a flag for open access resources, so it's very easy to narrow your list to open access. Now we're looking at all of the different results coming from the library collections that match my search. And in order to use one of these or, or any of these in my list, all I have to do is just drag and drop it right into the list. Links to library resources are built automatically. Here you can see all of the linking options for this particular resource, which have automatically been added. I can also see recommendations for additional resources that I may want to include in my list. Leganto includes recommendations for articles, physical items, and streaming video. I can click on this article and add it to my list. Instructors can also upload files to a list. I can drag a file here or click to browse. You can see that Leganto has automatically extracted some of the metadata from my file but I could always edit this information or add additional details here. I can specify where in my list I want to add this resource and add it. Anytime resources are added to Leganto lists, we always check against the library collections. In this case, this article is available through the library subscriptions, and those links have automatically been added. I can also add resources from my Leganto collection, which is a place to gather together resources that I may want to use down the line. Perhaps I discovered this book several months ago. Now I can add it to my resource list. It's also possible to add online resources to a list. It's very likely that while I'm doing online research, I may discover something that I want to include in my course. Leganto includes a Cited tool that allows you to bring in resources from any online source. I simply click on Cite It and bring in the information about this particular video. I can specify which course I want to add it to and even which section of the course to add it. You can use the Cited tool to bring in any online resource. This is an article that I found through Google Scholar and I can bring it into Leganto. We always check against the library collections to see if this is something that's covered by the library. So when I add this to my list, it will automatically include all of the library linking options. You can also use Cite It to bring in open educational resources, such as this book from Open Textbook Library. Again, we're bringing in the metadata about this resource, but also in this case, the Creative Commons licensing information. Let's go back to our list. You can see now that all of the resources that we just added from the library search, the upload option, the collection, and the Cite It tool have all been added to my list. 
for any of the citations on my list, I can go in and add some of that additional information that we saw from the student perspective. For example, I may want to add tags to this resource, or I could set a due date on this particular item, or I could add a public note. Once I'm finished with my list, I can send it to the library for review. Instructors can very easily use Leganto to build lists of all different types of resources and share that information with their students. And they can do that knowing that the library is able to help support access to these resources. Let's take a look at the library experience now. As a librarian, I will work with Leganto using Alma, which I'm used to using to manage my library. All of the information that the library needs to support reading lists and course materials is available inside of Alma. You can see in my task list here that I have tasks associated with reading lists and tasks associated with citations. For example, I have tasks for citations that have new files that may need to be reviewed, links that have been marked as broken, citations that are ready for processing, or citations that have new notes, which are the notes from the instructors. I can click on the tasks for reading lists that are ready for processing to see all the lists that are ready to work on, including the one that we just built in Leganto. I can work on this, and here I can see all of the citations on the list. This includes all of the book chapters, books, articles, videos, and websites that are on the list that we just saw in Leganto. I can also view or work on the reading list in the Leganto interface. Here I have access to all of the same functionality and tools that we saw as an instructor. For example, I can search for library resources and drag and drop them to the list. I can upload files or I can add resources from online using the Cite It tool. The library can work much more collaboratively with instructors to build reading lists. Going back over to Alma, we can work on this list and ensure that the students will have access to all of the resources that make up this course. The library can see all of the resources on the list and also see additional information about each of them. For example, I can see the resource locate status, which indicates if this is something that's part of my library collection or not. All of the articles and books in the first part of this list are listed as resource located, meaning located in the library collection, whereas the website and TED Talk are listed as locate not run, meaning not part of the library collection. I can also see that most of these citations have been marked as complete. The request status of complete indicates that there's nothing else that my library needs to do in order to provide access to these resources. You can configure these workflows so that Alma will flag specific resources and bring them to your attention as required. For example, we have said that if the library has electronic access to something, then there's nothing else that the library needs to do in order to provide access to those resources for the course. On the other hand, if a physical item is added to a list, we want to take a look at that because it will require further processing. I can easily use the filtering options available here to narrow this list down to focus on the resources that do require my attention. I'm going to navigate to all of the ones that are in not complete status, and you can see here that it's just one item. This is a physical item that was added to the list, and I can use Alma workflows in order to make this resource available for students. For example, I can click on Manage Fulfillment Options to submit a digitization request or move the item to our course reserve stacks. I can click on Purchase Request if I think we need another copy or if I want to see if we can purchase an ebook. Or I can click on Other Formats and Editions to see if we have other editions or formats for this particular item. The library can work through all of the citations that require further processing and then mark them as complete. Once the list is ready, I can publish it from here, or instructors can publish their own lists. The library can also work across courses. A lot of information is coming in automatically from instructors, and this citation screen allows me to see all of the citations across reading lists that may require attention on the part of the library. Again, I can use the filtering options to narrow this list down further to focus on the ones that I need to work on. This allows the library to be very efficient in processing course materials. 
the library also has access to extensive reporting functionality with Leganto. This dashboard will give you an idea of the type of information that's available for reporting. In the first tab here, we can see some of the workflows associated with Leganto. For example, I can see the number of reading lists that we're still working on before the beginning of the term, and I can see which instructors are waiting on work from the library. In the Instructor Activity tab, we can see how instructors are making use of Leganto. I can see this by academic department, and I can also see what types of things instructors are doing. This is helpful from an outreach perspective. For example, I can see here that my physics department is making heavy use of Leganto, whereas my fine arts department is not. Perhaps I can reach out to my fine arts department and promote some of the great resources that the library has available that they may want to use in their classes. In the Library Material Usage tab, we can see the usage of all of the library resources. This includes the physical resources that make up our collection, as well as the electronic resources that are being used in courses. We can see this broken down by course code, as I have here, or by academic department, by instructor, by material type, or by ISSN or ISBN. The library can see exactly which citations or exactly which resources are being used in courses, as well as how much usage those resources are getting. So the library can very easily understand how well the library collection supports the needs of teaching and learning. The library can also see the usage of resources that are not part of the collection. For example, I would be able to see here if a lot of files are being uploaded to reading lists that are not from journals that the library subscribes to. I can use this information to understand where there may be gaps in my library collection and ensure that we purchase materials that fulfill the needs of teaching and learning. And finally, in this last tab, I can see the number of students who are impacted by library resources in their courses, or the number of courses or instructors that use Leganto or use library resources in their courses. With Leganto, the library can very easily support access to course materials and streamline the library workflows to support more courses and additional services. The library can also understand teaching and learning needs and ensure that the library collection and services support those needs. Leganto helps build strong relationships between the library and teaching and learning, ensuring that your institution is maximizing your investment in library resources and providing the best student experience possible.